Installing header for vertical ground loops. International Ground Source Heat Pump Association. Courtesy of Comfort Works Incorporated, Goldsby, Oklahoma. Six grouted 300 foot boreholes with ground loops sticking out. Now we are ready to build a header to connect all ground loops to heat pump. Ditch Witch Mini Crawler Excavator MX352. Trench 2 feet wide and 4 to 5 feet deep. Trench is dug next to the polyethylene pipe loops in the boreholes. Care taken not to damage the ground loops. Dirt pile away from trench and not on edge of trench. Trenching is now finished. Time to assemble the headers. 2 inch polyethylene pipe is pushed through 3 inch pipe sleeve from utility room. Two inch polyethylene pipe from utility room. Pipe is protected from dirt and pests by taping the ends or using plugs. Header ends are capped off with air gauge and cap in utility room. One inch polyethylene pipe loop is cleaned and checked for any damage that may have been caused by trencher. Ends of ground loops are cut off and taped to keep dirt out. Header polyethylene pipes, both 2 inch and 1 and a quarter inch, are placed in trench for future assembly. Preparing to make a butt joint between 2 inch polyethylene pipes. Heating polyethylene pipe ends. Pressing hot polyethylene pipe ends together for fusion butt joint. Finish butt fusion is stronger than the pipe. Socket fusion of a coupling to polyethylene pipe. Hold in place while proper melt temperature is reached. Remove coupling and pipe from fusion equipment. Do not torque or twist the pipe or fitting during removal. Quickly place coupling onto pipe. Hold in place flush against coal ring. Visually inspect and hold in position. Required time for cooling. Measure for proper length. Cutting polyethylene pipe to correct length. Cleaning end of polyethylene pipe with paper towel. Clamping coal ring on end of pipe.
T and pipe are heated with heater plate. Press melted tea and pipe together. Hold tea and pipe as they cool. Hold firmly while tea and pipe cools. Polyethylene pipe headers connected to the utility room. All polyethylene pipe headers connected in trench. Ground source loops connected to header. Ground source loops connected to header. Visually inspect all header pipes for connections to ground loop. Once all headers are connected to the ground loop, then the system is pressurized. Headers are pressurized for a period of time and check for leaks. Each fuse joint is checked both top and bottom for leaks using soapy water. Each joint is checked top and bottom for bubbles using soapy water. Location of boreholes are recorded using a GPS device. Once headers are tested, then it is time to fill in the header trench. Professional operator takes care not to damage property. Header trench is covered and no mess is left for homeowner. Header trench is covered and property is restored to better than original condition. Installing header for vertical ground loops, International Ground Source Heat Pump Association, www.ixpa.okstate.edu, courtesy of ComfortWorks, Incorporated, Goldsby, Oklahoma.